On the other side of this is negative keywords. And there are definitely uh, reasons and, um, uh, you know, well, reasons to, to use um, negative keywords. For instance, careers, association. If you don't work on boats or autos, so you might be uh, running searches for upholstery. A lot of our clients also do upholstery, but they don't want to do auto or boat upholstery. So you could add those words in as negative keywords, which basically means if somebody uses this word in their search, then that means do not include my ad as one of the, the uh, results. So there are great reasons to, to use negative keywords. Um, another example is cheap, um, you know, Home Depot, things like that. Uh, I've also got competitors here in bold. Uh, we recently uh, added a policy for our company and for our clients uh, that we don't do ads using competitors' names. Uh, the reason is they don't work. Uh, if somebody's searching for a specific brand in your town, they've probably already made that decision. And even if your ad shows up, uh, and they're probably not going to engage with it, right? Because they've already made up their mind of who they're looking for. And even they might start the phone, call you, and they thought this was ABC blinds, right? So then you paid for a click, you wasted the time on the phone. And so Overall, we've seen that um, we've seen that really um, those types of ads don't tend to work very well. Uh, we don't uh, we don't tend to use them. So, uh, all right, I uh, got a comment here to look at the chat. So how many keywords are usual in a campaign? Is there a limit? There's no limit. Um, I don't know overall how many keywords we use uh, in general. Um, there's going to be a limit on just the things you can come up with, I think. Uh, but, uh, but overall, um, I don't think that there's really that big of a, a limit overall. So, uh, all right, let me get back to this. I think that was all the comments. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, misspelled keywords. This is another example of something that, uh, that you could take advantage of. I think it's a pretty small amount of people that are searching for your, your brand and misspell or misspelled the word draperies or something like that. But certainly things that you can do uh, back to the uh, Google uh, knowledge graph, they also understand misspellings of words. And if somebody does misspell something, a lot of times, even if I misspell something when I'm doing a search, Google says, did you mean, you know, and then they spell it right for me. Uh, but you can target uh, specifically those kinds of things. So, uh, all right. I think I uh, mentioned competitors. Uh, you can target competitors, uh, but probably a waste of your money, to be honest. It's not the best use of your money. Here's an example of one where somebody typed in the word sunshine drapery, a, a brand, and Proctor Drapery showed up as one of the ads. So uh, wasting money, in my opinion. 